The last part in this series of videos about Moodle quizzing relates to taking a look at the results or the data um, posted after the students take the quiz. So I am going to scroll down in Jane's class to the nutrition quiz and if you um, look at it from the teacher perspective you will see the number of attempts to that quiz. If you click on that it actually is a hot link and it will list all of the results by student. Now each of these headers, um, first name, surname, which is the same as last name, is a hot link. If you click on the header, you will sort by that field. So for example, if I click on the grade out of 56, I will see the scores from lowest to highest, or I could click on it again and see it from highest to lowest. Notice that there's the feedback field here. Um, this is not something that Jane typed in manually, but um, if you remember back to setting up the quiz, you can put in a text string for a, for a student based on their score on the test, like 90% and above, you get an amazing. 85% and above, you get a way to go. So that is how that ended up there. Jane took the time to put in that feedback. Now, the, in addition to um, what you see here, if I scroll to the bottom, you will notice that you have the option of looking at a bar graph that is a visual analysis of how the student scored as a whole on this test. That might be helpful. And you can also change this field that says show marks for each question to yes and then save the preferences and then you would see for each student how they did on each question. It's a lot more data on this one page. You can also download this data in Excel and the Excel file will go into your downloads folder which you can open in that program but it really does show you exactly what you see on this page so I'm not sure why you would need to do that. If I go up to the top you can also look at the item analysis. Um, but by the way, before I go into the item analysis, these two hot links I usually don't click on. Regrade just regrades the quiz as a whole, and that might be necessarily necessary after manual grading, and that is only for questions like essay questions or short answer questions that would not be able to be graded by the computer. So I'm going to click on item analysis and in the item analysis it's really just looking at each individual question and there are a bunch of things like R counts, R percentage and these SD and indexes that I don't even understand not being a total math person but the part that's important, I'll just go down to this question right here that shows lower calorie diets is that you can see what percentage of students answered true and whatever's in blue is the correct answer or false and so six percent chose false 92 percent chose true or you can see 33 out of 36 etc so that might help you to indi indicate which questions were either written poorly or needed some reteaching or re-emphasis in class. So I think this is helpful as well. Again, all the headers on this page are hot links, so you could sort by that particular field. So if I wanted to see, well, um, let's see this by the percentage correct, I could click here and I would see which exact question was the one that the fewest students did well on. So that is the type of analysis that you can do both by student or by question after the quiz.